In the Bible, we're told about the disciples that followed the Lord Jesus Christ. One of these was Peter, an outspoken man, an emotional man, a man who said what he thought. And as he went around following the Lord Jesus, he saw him touch the leper, and the leper was cleansed. He saw him touch the eyes of a blind man, and he was able to see. He watched the Lord Jesus break bread and fish and feed crowds of people. He saw how wonderful the Lord Jesus Christ was. One day he saw a storm. Peter was a fisherman. He was used to being out on the Lake of Galilee. But he knew that this storm was great and his life was in danger. But he watched the Lord Jesus stand at the front of the boat and command the wind and the waves to stop. There was a wonderful calm. The sun set that evening with Peter knowing that this one was the Son of God. And being an outspoken man, he would have thought thoughts like this. Fight for Jesus. I will never deny his name. I would die for him. I could not say fear will overtake me. I am sure there is nothing more I can do for the man of wonderful miracles. Is he really worth anything but my all, my life? What is of more value? Peter's great attitude and words would be tested severely. There in the Garden of Gethsemane, when they came to arrest the Lord Jesus, he did draw out his sword, but he didn't do a very good job. And on that night, when the atmosphere was electric and everything around was hostile, well, he reversed his attitude completely. You could have said that he said this, what is of more value but my all, my life? Is he really worth anything, the man of wonderful miracles? There is nothing more that I can do, for I'm sure fear will overtake me. I could not say I would die for him and never deny his name. I will never fight for Jesus. Peter was outside the high priest's house, where the Lord Jesus was on trial. But Peter, in disbelief and fear, denied to a servant girl, not even knowing the Lord Jesus. When they brought the Lord Jesus out of the high priest's house, his eyes met Peter's, and he was racked with guilt. He felt the weight of it and wondered if he would ever know forgiveness. The Lord Jesus left that trial and went to another with the Roman governor. The Jews thought they were getting rid of the Lord Jesus. The Romans thought that they were getting rid of a great problem. But the Lord Jesus Christ went to a cross, not because of what they wanted, because it was all part of God's plan to take away sin and give us a way that we could be saved. Peter, he went fishing. The Lord Jesus had risen from the dead. But as Peter was fishing, he wondered if he would ever feel forgiven. Or would he carry this weight of guilt for so much longer? He must have wondered. Forgiveness? I never thought I'd truly know my weight of guilt. I will never again know my friend, my comforter, my companion. He now will be condemning. I have no fear of him being for me. My relationship with the Lord is in ruins. I can never say the Lord is with me. But waiting for him that day on the beach was the Lord Jesus. He was cooking him fish. He met him in the place where he would feel comfortable right beside the Lake of Galilee where he had been a fisherman for years. And the Lord Jesus spoke kind words of forgiveness to him. And he comforted Peter. 
And Peter must have thought of words more like this. The Lord is with me. I can never say my relationship with the Lord is in ruins. For me, I have no fear of him being condemning. He now will be my friend, my comforter, my companion. I will never again know my weight of guilt. I never thought I'd truly know forgiveness.